My fellow Jamaicans, my name is George Ramakan, High Commissioner for Jamaica to London. Last Monday, February 4, a peaceful demonstration was mounted outside the High Commission by members of our community who were protesting a deportation chartered flight to Jamaica. I thought it important to speak with you today to clarify the inaccuracies circulating about the High Commission calling the police on the demonstrators. Here at the High Commission, we fully endorse and support the freedom of citizens to protest issues of human rights violation as they see it. And we believe that this is something that is one of the uh, highlights of the Jamaican community here in the UK. Many uh, other communities admire us for the fact that we have the courage to stand against injustices. Therefore, when the demonstration began outside the High Commission, we saw it as a positive development where people were expressing their views and expressing their, their disapproval of what they, they, they see as an injustice. And for that reason, we at the High Commission felt that this was a positive development. When the demonstrators asked to use our toilet facilities, we were very quick to offer them to come on in and to do that. And of course, this is just shows again that there was no uh, ill feeling uh, by the High Commission about the demonstration, because why would we allow them? This is not something that's normally done, where individuals who are protesting outside your building are allowed to come in. But we feel connected, and that is why we did it. So we were surprised that anyone could have even thought that we would have called the police on the demonstrators. The fact is that a number of persons came into the building asking to speak with the High Commissioner. Of course, it was a regular working day and there were quite a bit of uh, appointments were, that were pre-scheduled, including the media that was all there. So it was quite a cr uh, number of persons that were already awaiting to speak with the High Commissioner. So they were told that it was not possible to speak with the High Commissioner right at that time. However, an appointment was set up, but some persons were just boisterous. They were insisting and as a result, they began to make abusive remarks against a member of staff. And it became so overwhelming that the member of staff felt threatened. And so that is how come a panic button was pressed. The problem was on the inside of the building, not on the outside where the protesters were. And so when the police came, the individuals on the outside thought that the police was called on them, when in fact, it was inside the High Commission that the problem uh, was existing. And you know what? I can understand why they would think that way. Because on seeing the police, they didn't know what was going on inside. But now that you've heard this, you would know that that was not what happened. It was really because of what was going on on the inside of the High Commission, why the police was actually triggered. We see our relationship with the community as a partnership. A partnership in that the community demonstrates. This heightens the, the importance of the, of the problem. The High Commission negotiates, that is, negotiates with the government. And then, of course, there is the legal team, those who actually go to the court and enter petition on behalf of the persons who are earmarked for deportation. So that we should be able to see the role of each one of us and to respect that and to work towards supporting each other. So I ask you, please ignore any kind of, you know, information that would suggest, even suggest that the High Commission will call the police on, on the demonstrators who were on the outside. So already we have set up a number of meetings with members of the community. In fact, the person who actually did the first WhatsApp that is out there circulating, we've had a very good discussion and she'll be coming in to see me uh, next week. And this goes for a number of other persons because it's important that we talk. It's important that we understand each other. So I just want to thank you for listening. And I just ask you that you would share this message with other members of the community as you fit. Thank you very much.